our body makes two to 300 grams of protein every day. But we take 70 to 80 grams of uh, protein from food. Just two figures tells us most of them come from the degradation product of our own protein. Dr. Yoshinori Osumi grew up in post-war Japan, a time of hardship and hunger, yet went on to win the Nobel Prize for uncovering one of the body's most powerful healing systems, autophagy. In a field few cared about, he found gold, proving that the cell's garbage dump was actually the key to cellular renewal, aging, and disease resistance. His core insight? Life depends on balance, for without autophagy, our cells wouldn't survive. We live in a time of abundance. Too much food, too much stress, and too little time. And despite all our health knowledge, chronic diseases like cancer, diabetes, and neurodegeneration keep rising. The mainstream solution? Eat less, exercise more, take supplements. But what if your body already has a built-in system designed to repair damage, clean out toxins, and fight aging? Dr. Osumi discovered that our cells are constantly renewing themselves, replacing almost all their proteins every two to three months. But that regeneration can only happen properly when autophagy, your body's cleaning and recycling system, is activated. And most of us are unknowingly blocking it. So what's the real key to unlocking this process and giving your body the chance to heal and thrive naturally? The answer lies in autophagy, a cellular housekeeping process that breaks down and recycles damaged proteins and cell parts, allowing your body to renew itself from the inside out. Dr. Osumi's research showed that autophagy is not a passive process. It's essential for survival and active in every cell every day. He began studying autophagy in yeast, uncovering key genes that allowed researchers around the world to manipulate and study autophagy in mammals. Thanks to him, what was once seen as cell trash removal is now considered one of the most promising frontiers in disease prevention and longevity. Here's how you can tap into this natural system without medication, using simple practices inspired by Japanese longevity traditions and backed by modern science. Intermittent fasting isn't a fad, it's a return to a rhythm our bodies evolved with. Studies from Dr. Takayuki Teruya show that even a 12 to 16 hour fast activates autophagy, improves metabolism, and boosts antioxidant production. Traditional Japanese elders naturally practiced intermittent fasting, early dinners, no midnight snacks, and long gaps between meals. Fasting shifts your body from digestion mode into repair mode allowing autophagy to sweep up cellular waste and start renewal. Intermittent fasting may even have anti-aging effects, as shown in studies on metabolic activation and oxidative stress defense. Up next, how eating less, not just less often, can supercharge this healing process. In Okinawa, a blue zone known for centenarians, people stop eating when they feel 80% full. This ancient concept, called harahachibu, does more than control calories. It reduces metabolic stress and encourages autophagy naturally. Dr. Shigeaki Hinohara, who lived to 105, followed this principle alongside a simple, whole food diet. It's not about restriction, it's about giving your body room to clean up and repair. But what you eat also matters. Now let's look at foods that enhance autophagy and those that block it. Dr. Yumi Ishihara recommends, for those finishing an overnight fast or practicing a modified fast, starting your day with carrot or apple juice to gently break the fast. These juices are loaded with antioxidants and easy on digestion. Pair them with nuts or olive oil to balance blood sugar. Carrot juice, rich in beta-carotene and vitamin A, supporting liver and skin health. Apple juice full of pectin and quercetin for gut repair and antioxidant boost. Another Japanese favorite? Black tea with black sugar, kokuto, and ginger. Warming, mineral-rich, and great for digestion and circulation. Dr. Hiromi Shinya also promoted plant-based diets and his little fast, 16-hour overnight fasts with early dinners and late breakfasts. These gentle fasting periods align with your body's natural cleansing cycles. Here are some foods and drinks that are shown to support autophagy. Fermented foods, natto, miso, 
seaweed, legumes like soybeans, whole grains like barley and brown rice, hydration, clean water and green tea to flush out waste. And the following are some foods that suppress autophagy. Processed meats, refined sugar and white flour, chemical additives. Not everybody is the same. Dr. Osumi cautions that autophagy varies between cell types, so while we can't enhance it everywhere at once, we can support it through consistent habits. Customize your fasting window based on your energy needs. Use modified fasts, like juice mornings or one meal a day, if longer fasts feel unsustainable. Start slow, skip snacks, delay breakfast, or finish dinner earlier. Dr. Osumi dreams of future tools to precisely measure autophagy in each cell to allow for even more personalized approaches to health and disease prevention. But for now, your best strategies are practical and preventive. Stick to whole, minimally processed foods. Fast overnight consistently. Stay hydrated first thing in the morning. Move daily. Light activity supports metabolic cleanup. Avoid over-relying on supplements. Let your body do the work. By aligning your habits with your body's natural rhythms, you're not just living healthier, you're unlocking the power of cellular renewal to stay younger, longer. Your body is already working for you. It just needs the right conditions to heal and thrive. So try a 12-hour overnight fast. Swap one processed snack for real food. Listen to your fullness and let your cells do what they're built to do. Repair, renew, and protect you. If you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who needs to hear it. Until next time, take care of your body. After all, it's taking care of you.